Welcome back to another episode of Not Censored. Uh, back again with Liv. Hi. Today we're going to be talking about sixth form, more about like the creativity behind it because you're a very creative person. Um, okay. Yeah, no, so how is it being a performing arts student, especially musical theatre, and what sort of stress did that come with? Like a lot of <laughs> essays, I feel like, which is yeah, weird. Yeah, there, there was a lot of essays in terms of like a lot of analysis, kind of similar to photography in the sense of you had yeah. to analyse a lot of artistic pieces of work specific practitioners so like people who don't know what that means it's like directors and producers right. and even people that are involved in the actual pieces so the actors of it they're also practitioners yeah so you were analyzing dance pieces for hours <laughs> on end and sounds watching very fun. the most ridiculous shows you've ever seen in your entire life yeah. and critiquing them all i'm going to say is as great as the the Cinderella ballet is, don't put yourself through it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's just it. I mean. So was it was it very fulfilling as well as with the stress? Oh my god, yeah. And when you came out of it at the end, how was it? Like, did you were you happy with your results and everything like that? I was happy with my results. Cause that we happens, got a bit snuffed. Did you in terms right, of yeah. the grading? Um, the grading was just absolutely ridiculous because you find that out months before year 13 actually ends right mm, we found out the grading and it was really the boundaries were quite crap this last year yeah yeah um yeah it was really bad were you I happy mean... with everything though other than that or no oh i feel that was a loaded question no no actually genuinely because i don't think I... I passed yeah, that we didn't that's all that, that's all that's that, all that mattered though that's all that mattered yeah that's all i really needed was a pass uh and i uh, just uh just scraped by but you know i'll take it smash photography yeah i did that's my that was my highest yeah exactly easy man I, what did i what did you get i don't I got I, B. did you get a b yeah jeez let's go i got a b nice and i'll one. take it like to be fair my coursework your exam was sick by the yeah. way yeah <laughs> <laughs> I will admit my exam was I don't so know, good I don't know what it is but Liv went into overdrive I, I think I'm alright to say this but she loved her exam more than her coursework oh mainly because of she was given a brief and then she kept thinking of ideas on top of that plus we've had the year and a half of experience from the personal investigation so that it made for like the perfect recipe we were all like pretty much at skill level we were all at the best skill level we've ever been at yeah, a hundred percent. You just kept they just ideas just kept coming. I, I remember I'd I'd um, <laughs> it was like I think it was like a week. Mm. No, it was about two weeks before our exam was set to yeah, take yeah. place. Oh my god, it was stressful. And I had this final piece in my head and basically I, I can speak about it now, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was about to say, I was like, I can speak about this, right? This has been graded. <laughs> so basically, my idea was a, I had like a white backdrop with the lights shining behind it. And then you had the person stand between the light and the backdrop and pull like Pulls this, kind of, yeah, yeah. behind the white screen. So it was a silhouette. Uh, and then because you'd be taking them on a white screen, you could basically cut out the positions and morph them into like a massive like kaleidoscope image, basically. That is sick. So I was making these because mine was, uh, mine was, what was, mine was my body shape, body image? No, it was movement. Movement, movement. movement. It was movement. So it was like movement through photography. So I was doing like all these like funky like alien poses in mm. terms of like they weren't like typical normal stances. Like people were like. I'll try out a clip. Yeah. Um, like they were funky ass poses to the point where, and I'd already previously done a moving shot. And then I had this thought. And I was like, what if I can merge this moving shot, which was like I had a person stood in the middle of the frame and they mm. had like their hands on it. And then all these hands came in around the sides, around them. That was your final piece, right? No. Oh, mad. You never saw my final piece. I don't think I did, no. It was sick. <laughs> it, I was really proud of it. So all these like hands come in and then they come out again. Yeah. And then I moved on to this kaleidoscope effect and they looked... And I was like, what if I merge the two? That I was like, was what sick. if I had... A kaleidoscope that moved. Yeah, that's such a, that's funny. So then I would spend a week shooting everybody, this was all the, my friends. The week before our This was the week exam before the exam. Place. So I, I was like fully just throwing caution to the wind and hoping that this idea mm. was gonna work. Thank the fucking gods it did. <laughs> because I don't know I would have just used my movement piece, the one with the hands. 
coming in. I'd have just used that. I think that's what you did with your personal investigation. You kind of just were like... I was like, I have a final piece that I'm ready to use. Yeah, you're just like, yeah. But what I'll do is I'll try and edit this piece together. And the thing is, I had my final piece finished before we went into the three-hour exams. Yeah, yeah, So I'd done that, and then for those... Five hour exams, a fifteen hour exam that we had where we did it five in three chunks. Thirty for me. Yes. Um, for those like five hour chunks, I just filled in my yeah. course, like not the course, but the exam folder. I filled it in and like did the analysis and stuff that I hadn't done. Mm. So basically, my final piece was a kaleidoscope, um, and it was like mirrored. So there was like a top layer and a bottom sick. layer that were mirrored and it kind of like went around the outside a little bit. And mm. um, just in terms of the way they moved, it looked like a circle. Uh, and then they they all moved one thing about them. So some switched arms or some just swapped their head or like it Sounds dropped. very robotic as well. Kind yeah, of. it was very like, the, the way they moved was very, I don't want to say Terminator-esque, but in terms of like very just like, like they were very yeah, stiff yeah, yeah, movements, yeah, yeah. very stiff and, and quick. So I had people like I had people from lower years come in and do it. They were because you needed a lot of people for it, didn't you? Yeah, because I wanted different body shapes in it. I didn't want the same person. I wanted different heights, different levels to it. You know, I wanted just completely different body types to be in yeah, this shot yeah. because I thought it would look so cool. It's like these different people, but they were still mirrored, so it was like mm. they were flipped upside down. Damn. And then it basically they all moved and looked, and then they all moved back to their original position, and it was on a loop. So think, it'd freeze and then it'd play again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there'd be like a, a still moment for it to play again and then it, they'd all turn and look at you and then go back. But they, you didn't have any facial features either. I think that's what really set you out from the coursework to the exam. Like, the amount of thinking that went behind it. Yeah, Especially I, because I your didn't... coursework was just colour. Like, yeah, that's... It's so yeah. stiff to work with. Yeah, it was a really a restrictive... Project. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, colour, but like there was... I didn't, there, was, I, yeah. there was almost too many routes you could take. That's that why I never gave... Boring. I didn't even give my project a name until the end. Yeah, what did you name your project? I'm pretty sure I linked it a lot to religion and everything like that, and I started working a lot with fire, which mm. really got them thinking, like, why are you doing fire out of nowhere? Because I did reflections Yeah. Um, with the prism. Do you remember the prism? Back in... That was the first ever shoot. Put it up there. I can yeah. see it. <laughs> Literally, that was the first. And I did projections, everything like I that. I did prism and projections. Yeah. But I, 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 made, I made the point. trend. I made the trend. Yeah, you did. I started off with, like, so many different points of view. And then I start, I spun fire one time. I was like, this looks yeah, cool. Yeah, that was cool. I had temples in there as well, but towards the end. Because it was that summer I you went to India. did the spheres as well. I did the sphere reflection. I did water as well for a bit. Like, a yeah. little bit of reflections in puddles. Yeah. And I was like, right, okay, so I've got a lot here, but I'm going to tie it to religion. And I did it at the end, and I did tie it to religion, which was... And and it did really well. The analysis I did was crazy at the end. Like, the analysis was just so much waffle. That's what you need to do. Waffle, oh my God, just waffle for days. That's Literally what I just did. link it to the most random things, and it'll be fine. That's what I did in my exam. Mm. In my... My coursework, I think I got... A, I, got I got a C in my coursework. By the way, the which coursework... Which I was not expecting, because I didn't put you know, mm. all that effort into it because Course I was... Coursework to exam ratio is 60% to 40%. Yeah. So I got a C and then they said, you've got to get an A in your exam to get a B. That's crazy. And you did that. So. And I did that. <laughs> uh, and then the A star to get an A. Were you expecting um, an A in your exam? Really? No. Damn. Because it's always my analysis that lets me down. Really? I thought you were bro, what? You're good at writing, just once. You... <laughs> yeah, but you just need to get to it, basically. Yeah, I I kept leaving it till. I remember the boxes. There'd just be boxes everywhere for analysis. You just leave them till the end, and then just do them all at once. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Every weekend, We'd click through. Liv would just be just writing away analysis. Yeah, and also, oh my god, right? Okay, if I can just preface something right now. Because I made a massive mistake when I started sixth form. What was the one thing that I did in photography, Rohit? What? Was that it? I was like the odd one out for. Oh, you worked on in the a, coursework. You you worked in a um, sketchbook, <laughs> but she switched like halfway through as well. It was like what? Uh, Jan? Jan or Feb? Yeah, I, I year threw twelve. Out the window. I was like, I'm done. So we were on Google Slides till that point. Liv was like, oh, I want to work in a portfolio, man. Sketchbook. And then did physical. No, till... no, no. I started in the portfolio. In the sketchbook. No, you did not start in the yes, sketchbook. Yes, I did. I started in that sketchbook. And then about six months in, I was like, 
I can't do it anymore. So I, I, I wasted like. So wait, a did you solid... still give in your sketchbook though? Yeah. Yeah, so that's fine then. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him my sketchbook. No, because they still wanted you to do online as well. So you'd upload online and in the, yeah, it was just a bit. You know. Yeah, it was a piss take. Although on, to be fair, the sketchbook comes in clutch for taking all your stuff home. Like you could literally just. Yeah, take I, the I have home. my entire. I do have my sketchbook. Yeah. I have up till I've got all the photos of Gracie. Damn. Uh, I did like a sweet shoot basically where I had. She was so fed up with us. Yeah, like... she was so fucked up <laughs> that I made her do those. Thanks, Gracie. We were literally talking about that. Shout out, Gracie, though. Mwah. <laughs> um, I, I had a friend of ours come in and do her coloured makeup mm. and uh, had sweets. Uh, I have so many hilarious... Like drumsticks, squashies. I did uh, uh, cherry, red cherry sweets, you know, like Harry ones, Tampastics. Did you do laces? Some laces, I feel like. Uh, I did like, do you know, like the blue roll up ones yeah, where you pull yeah, it out? Yeah. Those ones were sick. We, so we've experimented with a lot, basically, in photography. From sweets to like fire. I did a shoot after that in like August of last year. Put petrol on a stick um i'm gonna include that photo here i don't know if you've seen that actually one of my mates yeah we that. literally so we spun it was like this wooden oh, stick God, this with like go well with like string on it and we dipped that in petrol set it on fire and then we did a light painting but like you know how we do light yeah, paintings yeah. with like we just use fire for that and it looks sick okay you'll have to show me that i will show you that okay. but yeah no leading on from that though since we met in photography what were your first thoughts of me Positive, hopefully. I don't know. Well, I know, my... know the story of how we met, and I how, think it's how, really funny. How we met is actually a bit weird now thinking about it because it was the most random thing. Because so we were in photography together. We'd never spoken a word to each other, and he, you were the only guy in our class. Oh mate, please let's the talk about that. Only guy in oh. a room full of thirty females. Yeah, it's crazy. It was so awkward. And he was completely on his own. You were sat on yeah. your own for like a solid week. We vibed though. And I turned, I think I was sat next to, I don't even know who I was sat next to, but I turned to whoever it was and I was like, give me a week. Oh my and God, And they were like, what so do you mean? Weird, I was like, I was like, he will be our friend. Give me a week. So, yeah. so what were your first anyway, thoughts then? <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to make him my friend. And then... Um, so wait, was that like a mission or did you actually want to be mates, bro? No, I actually wanted to be oh, mates. No, was... But they were like... Yeah, th- I was like, I was like, I want him to be my friend. He's wearing cool pants. Basically, you were wearing oh, your God. black yeah. trackies, yeah. but they had roses stitched down the side Everybody of them, loved those. And they were so cool. And I was like, he's got such cool pants. I was like, he needs yeah. to be my friend. I bet he's really sound. Yeah. And then they were all like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Because come on, they you weren't were actually really... they weren't actually friends though. They were like acquaintances. Okay? Yeah, I mean, I'd known this girl yeah, for yeah, yeah. years, but like we weren't really friends. Like we just kind of yeah. had classes together. Um, so then, from my perspective, the first time we met, mm. we were doing. I can't even. Remember. I hope it's the same tree shoot that we we're on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That <laughs> what, shoot. What, what shoot was it? What was so it called? So basically, I don't know. I call it, it was the tree the, shoot. It was, yeah. Well, that's what I call it. But there was a word for it. We were basically doing it where you took a photo and then you went up and up and up and up and up, and up down, down, down. So you created like a massive like kind collage, of jigs- collage, like, collage of like kind of jigsaw. And we were taking a picture of a tree. Um, well, I was taking a picture of a tree. You didn't have to. I was just, oh, man, I, was... I was taking a picture of this tree. And I was putting my whole pussy into it. I did not want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got to get all these photos. I was like, I've not finished the full tree. Give me a minute. And my teacher... Was, yeah. Was it Miss... She was shouting at me. And she was like, Liv, you've got to come back inside because you've got to upload your photos. Yeah. And I was like, give me a minute. I was like, I'll be in. But bear in mind, the year before... Yeah. She'd been my farm tutor. Yeah. And the year yeah, before yeah. that, she was also my farm tutor. So she'd been teaching me since year nine onwards and was my farm tutor through 10 and 11. Yeah, yeah. So I could kind of bend the rules just like a little bit when she was like, come Liv, on in. Liv I was like, could no. do that anyway, you know? What? Liv, you could do that anyway. What do you mean? You, mate, the amount of. No, nah, I'll get into that later. The amount of stuff Liv get, got away with is crazy, by the way. Ah, dress codes. Come yeah, you got that. away with that a lot. No, I couldn't. Anyway, I got bollocked. Basically. We'll move on to that in a minute. <laughs> Fuck it out. We were taking pictures and it was made, meant to make a collage. Liv gets called in. Everybody we had basically gets called in. I'm at like the opposite side, like 50 metres away, almost basically. And I see Liv and I, I see her getting like shouted at, but like not really. And it's just like, Liv, hurry up, come on in. And then we clock, we clock each other and we both just kind of laugh 
And then we both go in, but we, we're like chatting as we go in. Yeah. That's the first interaction I've had. And I it. think in that conversation, I turned to you and was like, I really like your pants. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, and you yeah, were yeah. like, thanks. I didn't know what to say because, you know, guys don't get compliments. So I was just like, yep, yeah, thanks. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. And then I think the next the next class we had, I was like, come sit here. And you were yeah, like. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I can't. Like, yeah, might as well. Okay, might as well. And then, then that's slowly it. Yeah. was roped that's into it. our friendship group. And yeah. here we are. Yeah, and I was still very new at this stage this was still like second week or something right yeah it was very early on very early on and i just i just remember my first thought being when i first met you i remember my first thought being he's gonna hate me by the end of this month that's what she said yeah and i i my first thought of her was like she was so nice and really bobbly that's so you can see the difference of what we both i thought. was just like i said that to her as well sick of me i was like i'm gonna have driven you like other end of the class i wasn't and we're still here so <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but yeah, you've no, not that's, had much choice. <laughs> that's <laughs> that was the first interaction, and that seems like that was twenty twenty one. That's disgusting. And we're in twenty twenty four now. That's so weird to think about. Yeah, we've been friends a while. Yeah, we have been friends for a while. It's so weird to think about now, though, because I don't. We don't really dwell on that sort of memory anymore. Like that was. I I feel like that. Um, 2021 was so good because it was still sunny and it, oh mate, that was just a good time to be in year 12. Yeah, it was. It was less stressful as well. Definitely. But I want to speak about how photography was in terms of GCSE and you did it at GCSE as well, right? Yeah. And in terms of A level, did, did, well, did you get taught in GCSE? Or was it no, kind of- it was more just <laughs> figure it out yourself. So then coming in sixth form and being like, you are going to do a whole personal investigation mm. on anything that you were like. I was like, how? Yeah. Because I wasn't really taught. I was just taught. And taught you only to... got to use the studio from year 10, right? Or what? Yeah. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it was basically just like analysis and maybe taking a photo outside. For like, yeah, I didn't get to use the studio much. All, all I really remember was uh, pissing Imogen off to Unreal Lengths by just... I can't believe I can't believe Imogen was in photography. It's so weird to think about for me, like remembering that Imogen was in photography for me. Yeah, it was so different. Like GCSEs, we got like spoon fed, like we literally got so much help and everything, especially with graphics as well. Just graphics was the same. Flailed. And us. but we didn't have a studio or anything, so it was like mm. we kind of just had to do shoots every week. So we were very independent as well, but like we also got a lot of teacher time as well. I'm just really sad that all of my photos from year nine and ten have vanished because I had some absolute not back belters up? of me in there. No, I was an idiot. I've lost all my my actual exam photos as well. I'm really upset about it. Nice. I have one. But yeah, no, that was my first interaction with anyway, you. Anyway, can I just quickly ask? Sure, we've got two minutes, but yeah, sure. Oh yeah, shit. Sure. <laughs> um what 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 else did I get away with? Bro, you got away with your clothes, man. As much as you were, you weren't like. But the amount of times you got away with it was clean, because because Liv sucked up to everyone from year seven, so she got away with everything pretty much. So spitting nothing but facts, and I said this to her. I literally said this to her on the first two or three. Do you respect the grind or no? No. And everybody used to look at me like, oh, you used to push in the lunch queue. And I was like, yeah, I used to push in the lunch queue. And what, man? <laughs> and what? <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Yeah. Whoa. Everybody was so pressed. I was like, did you guys not do that? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that. I was too scared. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I'd fully get a beating. I was a gremlin in year seven. I was literally the size of like a pea shoe. Did you push the year 11s back? Did I? Fuck, I'd cry. 